to demonstrate just how much costs are spinning out of control, I've brought the wheel of inflation. It'll tell us exactly how much more Bidenomics is costing hardworking Americans. Oh, let's see, eight, eight. In the past year, the price of bacon is up about 8%. <laughs> That's clever. Yeah, actually, I thought it was the wheel of fortune, not the wheel on as in the price is right. But nonetheless, the Senator Joni Ernst, who demonstrated spinning out of control inflation, is with us now. That was quite something, Senator. <laughs> I don't know how you came up with that idea, but uh, it looked pretty good. Let's get serious. Thanks. Why do you think that President Biden is to blame for inflation? Well, we call this Bidenomics, and Democrats continue spending. And when you have all of those dollars flowing out there, and of course we see disruption in the supply chain management and, and supply chains, uh, there's nowhere for those dollars to go, and it's forcing costs to go up. And that's uh, really unfortunate for not only our American families, but uh, the, those businesses that are short workers as well. So we have this conglomeration, again, that we're calling Bidenomics. Um, we've simply got to stop spending like we are as we're approaching a $30 trillion debt. But we are shelling out an enormous amount of money. I'm sure you saw this, Senator, mm -hmm. but the checks are going out today to yes. 39 million families with children. That's $100 billion going to be passed out in the next year. We're still making the emergency payments until mid-September. And the Democrats are trying to pass this three and a half trillion dollar spending package without Republican support. Can you, you can't really stop all of that, can you? Because the money flow is going to flow no matter what you do. The money flow is continuing, and that's what Democrats don't understand. They think, well, we'll just pump, pump a bunch of money into these bank accounts. But again, it's creating inflation. And I think the Fed, although he's not out there uh, saying it clearly, I think he is concerned it's going to last longer than uh, what was anticipated. And certainly, as we continue to pump money out there into these checking accounts for individuals, that does stymie those workers going back to work. So we have a multi-pronged uh, problem within our economy right now. And again, it's creating a, a really a bad situation for our families as they're just simply trying to put food on the table. But it's going to be politically popular. You talk of it families is... want to put food on the table, they're going to get the money from the government to put food on the table. And when you start withdrawing that money, you say, no, you can't have that anymore, it's bad for the country. And you Stuart, lose politically. Is... This is a really bad situation, and I hope Americans wake up and press their Democratic members of Congress as they are trying to pass the President Biden's human infrastructure bill at a cost of over $3 trillion. What they are doing is establishing these social welfare programs that will be very, very hard to reverse. Once you have folks hooked sure. on that government spending, how do you get them off of that government spending? Um, so I think we're pushing towards socialism. The Democrats are marching it all along the way. And again, we're creating this Bidenomic situation, which is so harmful for our American families. I think you do face some political risk if you cut off those payments. I think that would Absolutely. be the case. Absolutely. Unfortunately, but I think that's the way it is. Yeah. Senator. Yeah. Great stuff on The Price is Right. I'm sorry I confused it with Wheel of Fortune, which I watch every night, but there you go. Santa, come back soon, please. Love to have sure you. Sure will. Thank sure. you. Thank you, ma'am.